How has my body changed over these years and what are the reasons for that? Let's see. If you have been following this YouTube channel since the beginning, you've probably seen my body in so many different shapes, so many different uh, forms, like I have been quite big and bulky, sometimes I think a little bit more skinnier, sometimes even a bit like fluffy looking, sometimes absolutely ripped to the bone. So I've had many different uh, really phases in my training as well and the way I've been eating and even in my lifestyle, you know, whether I've been traveling a lot or more like stationary, and all of this has had a really big impact on the outlook of my body. And I think sometimes people are wondering like, why has your body changed? Why are you looking like this? You were bigger like uh, back then and so on. So I thought it might be interesting to maybe walk you through a bit of this journey. So starting of course from the begin beginning of the channel, I think like during this time, I was actually pretty big. And I was also in a, you know, I sometimes change from being more leaner to a bit, bit more bulkier, just depending on the, what, how much I was eating. But I still always maintained a pretty good solid muscle mass there. And at this point, I was doing a lot of movement training, mobility training, flexibility training. But I still had the kind of remnants of the older style of training that I had been doing, like meaning heavy lifting. I was also very obsessed still with certain skills like front lever and some gymnastics uh, stuff, like I was training for planches, I was doing like gymnastic ring training. And so this type of training was, it had benefits, like it had built my body as, uh, and I had a certain amount of, I think, good muscle there, but it was not the most sustainable way of actually doing training. But as a result of that, I was still, I think I looked pretty good. I, my, I, my eating was, I was sometimes eating also a huge amount of food, so that also, of course, impacted for me being bigger, it was not all quality mass, some of it was also just, you know, some water weight uh, there as well. But overall, I'd say I was really in a good shape at this point and I was happy with the way I was looking. I was sometimes like maybe close to uh, like 84, 83 kilos or something, even sometimes heavier, but just for a little moment. But going from here, like I said, I had those remnants of training that had brought me results, but I knew that it was not the way to go. I knew that it wasn't sustainable and uh, I felt like I was plateauing. I wasn't going anywhere. So from there, here onward, I moved to Croatia and there was a kind of transition phase already before this where I felt my body started to lose a bit of the mass. And even at a certain point, I felt like I was I really lost some of the tone that I had earlier, some kind of muscle hardness and tone. And this was because I had kind of left these older ways of training behind. But I didn't have yet the proper alternative. Because during the year in Croatia, I just started to like really develop the methodology that is in the Athlete Twin X, the precision training methodology, the athletic muscle building uh, uh, principles. And so I, at this point, I wasn't able to yet see the results of those methods because I had just kind of started to utilize and just started to research and study and develop them further. So I went through this kind of period where I thought like, uh, of course, I was in shape. You know, I was never completely like, like fat or out of shape at any point in my journey. But compared to earlier, I thought that I had gone a little bit like downwards from there. But over that year in Croatia, it was like, I think it was 2016. Yes. So I built my body back up. I developed this method, this kind of a more sustainable ways of training. So, and by the end of the year, I had already like grew or grew or grew grown <laughs> quite a bit. And I felt like I was in a pretty good shape and going, it, this process continued all the way going to Australia in 2018. This was really when the Athlete Twin X method had started to truly like mature. And I was really in tune with my body. I, I had the mind muscle connection, like really good. And this really started to show like this investment that I had done previously kind of losing a bit of what I had previously was now I was getting like more than what I had previously. So I really blew up during the Australia year. I was like heaviest, maybe 84, 85 kilograms. The Adley Twin X methods were so effective in building muscle mass. It was like incredible. I was also eating lots of food at this point as well. But it, but it was really, I think, those methods and principles that we figured out how to really precisely train the body. There's no random results, how to directly build muscle. And this resulted in a great change in my physique, starting from the, say, like halfway in Croatia to all the way then to end of the Australia. 
but Australia also I was not eating very clean so there was a lot of there was I think one of the best burgers in the world were in Australia that I had ever tasted and I was eating lots of food there so again I was bigger and I was happy that I was able to uh, again like rebuild a lot of muscle mass but I knew that there was a lot of still like uh, a bit of extra fat and water retention excess uh, some inflammation may be perhaps going on which makes you appear also bigger so this was a this was a point after which I transitioned and I had a huge transformation actually from this point onwards because there was a really big missing piece in my physique although I had good mobility uh, strength I have a very balanced structure and uh, structure in my body that I had built with the athlete training exercise method but I was lacking endurance. I was really lacking the sort of hardness and durability. And I realized this also going to start to train like MMA, start to train more, more uh, martial arts. And I was just completely like fell out of shape starting this because I just didn't have the endurance to really keep up my, keep my performance, maintain, sustain it through these uh, workouts. So I developed the Warrior Twin X method to build strength endurance in my body to build really this kind of resilience and it made a huge difference because I hadn't really done that type of training a lot uh, previously. So this I did also together because we moved from Australia back to Finland and there was even before that there was uh, many months of traveling and uh, my diet started to clean up after Australia pretty quickly and in Finland I was really able to maintain a good uh, much cleaner and healthier diet. So this together with doing the Warrior Twin X conditioning, doing MMA, it really <laughs> shrank my body, but in a good way. Because for I, as far as I see it, I lost a ton of fat, and I also lost a lot of water weight or water retention on my body because I was eating much better. And I had never been in a more ripped shape, I think at least, than what I was after the Warrior Twin X. Uh, it, it, it was kind of like carving out the muscle mass that I had built with athlete tunics now I just brought it more defined out and also you know even the conditioning training it developed my musculature more because I had the foundation that I had built I had the sort of body control the stability I felt like this type of conditioning training that is very high intensity like it's not good for all types or, or like for example if you don't really know how to train and you push yourself you easily break yourself but I was in a point where I felt I was ready for that. And the results that I got from it, I think showed that I really, my body was ready to be pushed to its limits. And this is what I did with the Warrior Tronics. I really pushed myself with it and it further increased my muscle mass uh, as a result as well. So I really liked my body at this point. I felt much more functional, much more lighter, uh, really like defined, really ripped. I felt like I had a good solid performance. I was able to just go and, and push hard uh, so this was like 2019 actually this year a lot of MMA a lot of martial arts focus there but then there was another big change that happened in 2000, uh, tw uh, 20, uh, 2020 so this was the year we had lived the previous year in Finland but 2020 we traveled so much it was like twice in Taiwan we were in Russia like Lithuania Croatia Dubai, of course, sometimes in Finland, but it was like a bit more chaotic and I couldn't really get a kind of routine to really keep up this sort of like a, for example, say like a muscular amount in my body. And there was also a huge focus on this year on Qigong. Like this is really the year that Qigong affected my body, but it wasn't so much on the outlook, like external, like how my muscles were, but it was like internally building the sort of internal frame, internal energy, like I said in Qigong, but really learning breathing methods, extremely high level breathing methods that we learned with Jiang Yushan. I mean, this year we made the multiple courses with Jiang Yushan as well. And I had really huge focus on Qigong so, and precisely like more softer style Qigong, like I said, breathing, Buddhist Qigong. I wasn't so much doing the hard Qigong, which uh, also benefits like muscle mass. But as a result of this focus, I felt like during 2020, my body uh, got a little bit smaller, and I, there was also even like a very conscious phase where I kind of avoided too hard training, too intense training. I felt there was something missing in the softer approach of my body that I really need to research. And so my focus shifted 
I purposefully focused more on very relaxed, uh, soft things to kind of uh, to learn them better and to really get that the benefits into my body. And even by the end of the year, I developed like a method of like a new software training method that we haven't even released yet. So that was a 2020. I felt like, like I said, during this time, my eating was, you know, here and there. Like I said, we traveled a lot. There was nothing really um, too regular about it. I wasn't eating anything unhealthy, but it was just like quite normal foods, a lot of restaurant foods, some home cooked foods, but I wasn't eating in excess and I wasn't eating like anything super, uh, say fattening either. So, but I was clearly skinnier. I, I felt by the end of the year, and but this in a positive way. Like I said, this was a phase that I had to go through. I felt like it was very important, and this was a way to kind of perhaps shrink a little bit to then grow back up again. At least that's how it happened in the future. Because going to when we moved to Dubai last year, 2021, uh, I started this kind of project from the end of the uh, start of the year, but like five months five to six months, I was really building myself back up. I felt like I'm in a place like my body's good. I feel great. You know, what's, there's nothing really stopping me from, you know, gaining a bit of mass. And I utilized the Adelaide Twin XX again for this. I focused a lot on that. I was also doing at the same time conditioning training. So I didn't lose that side of it. I was doing movement training. So I had a very balanced approach and I was able to grow, I think a lot of muscle during these five to, to six months of 2021 again and I felt good. I was also eating um, cleaner as well. So that that also kept away that sort of unnecessary bloat and water retention. I, I know like some people are more like a fan of maybe that look, but personally I like more solid look. So I was able to keep the diet much more in check. And right now, for example, I'm eating just a ton of homemade food. My fiance cooks amazing foods and like, she can cook like anything and so I eat just a lot of foods that we made at home, meat, fish, also a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables and uh, I feel my, my diet in that sense has found a good balance like the same way my training has found uh, a good balance as well. So I'm not, like I said, I'm doing that kind of, I can do training that builds up the muscle, builds up bulk but it never goes to the point where I'm feeling like all bloated because I know I, I, or I'm still doing the conditioning, warrior training exercises, endurance, strength endurance training. I'm doing, I know how to keep my body also nimble uh, with the movement, with the flexibility, with the mobility. So I've really found a good balance of all of these methods that I've gathered over these years. And right now, for example, you know, through that, uh, like I said, well, last year was basically what built myself to the point where I'm at the moment. I feel like pretty, I feel good. Like I feel like I have a, a good amount of uh, size that doesn't interfere with my function. I'm doing right now lots of uh, kickboxing, boxing, some MMA, uh, Muay Thai, and this is something that also of course shapes the body, but I, I'm really emphasizing being able to have the performance in those. So I don't want my other training to take away from, from that either. Really the biggest takeaway for me was that in the beginning, when I made that big change, I explained from the beginning of the channel, like I kind of, I felt that I lost a bit during, uh, like temporarily, because I made that big change there to find an alternative, better way of training. But it was the, the thing that I was ready to lose. Like I wasn't, I was attached, but I detached myself from that because I knew that if I continue with that, that way, eventually it will definitely plateau and I will definitely lose something. But I took the risk and sort of developed something new and I gained even more than what I had previously. I think that was a, a very important thing that I allowed some flexibility for my body. I've always been able to kind of allow a lot of flexibility. I think some people, they get stuck on looking in a certain way, being able to lift a certain amount of weight and then they cannot go to do any like alternative roads because you're so attached to these old things that you have. But in my case, uh, it was really important that I allowed a lot of room for exploration, room for error, room for really studying, researching further and in the process losing a bit. And afterwards, then because of that investment, I started to gain like even right now, right now that all of that stuff where I explored and created the foundation, studied the Athlete Twin X method, that was like an investment that 
every single year I'm able to get more out of it, like just more and more and more. Like the last year when I said I felt skinny in the end of the year, I decided I grew myself back during like five month period. It was just like a decision, let's do it. it was because I have the methodology, I have the know-how, I, I understand how to build the muscles, I understand how to create the, the stimulus. So it's very simple to do it when you know it. Of course, the process to get to that point wasn't simple, but this is what I built over these years. So I hope this really made it more clear because I know like really there's some people who have been wondering about it. You know, why is the body changing? Or uh, do I have like some uh, body image issues? I've talked about this also in the b before. Like uh, really the most important, as I said, stay flexible with it. Don't get locked up too much. Uh, it's most important thing for me is to feel good. I sometimes in my during my journey I felt that uh, like I looked good but I wasn't feeling good internally inside my body. So now I feel really in a place where I look and I feel the way I look. <laughs> so to say. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you you know, experience yourself some big changes with your body, comment down below and let me know. I'd be very interested to read about that. Other than that, take care guys. And as always, stay strong.